We work on uh, sewer treatment systems, installing them. Uh, mostly commercial, but sometimes we do residential to fill in when commercial jobs are not available. Uh, we just completed a project in Chico for about a 58 uh, house subdivision at the collection uh, plant uh, that treats the sewage and puts it back into the ground. And one of the main uh, problems that Chico has to deal with is they have a high nitrate area and uh, they're trying to reduce the nitrates that go into the uh, soils. So uh, the, the treatment plants uh, uh, take the nitrate out of the soil before they put it back in. And that's one of the harder things to do in the treatment uh, systems. Uh, the particular one we put in, we had to inject uh, carbon into, back into the effluent because uh, that decreases the nitrates. Uh, most generally that doesn't have to be done, but in this particular uh, plant it did because of the high volume. Uh, they're flowing about anywhere from six to 8,000 gallons a day. Uh, Paradise actually, I believe, is the largest community without a sewer system. So that's a lot of, uh, a lot of septic systems. They've been, uh, for probably the last 20 or so years, trying to come up with a sewer system alternative. They're looking into piping it down to Chico and using their, their treatment plant. That's one of the options. And so they're having meetings and stuff on that again. And they, and they do that about every few years and it gets shot down and stays septic. <laughs> uh, it's just me and, a, and one worker. And we're really efficient. We have a lot of equipment that, that will that do the job a lot faster than putting a lot of people on it. And uh, over the years I've had different crews and uh, a lot of the times I'd be just going from job site to job site, you know, fixing things that weren't right. And this way we can keep it all, you know, all localized and everything gets done right the first time. On the equipment, we run a lot of Bobcat equipment because it's um, pretty compact and a lot of areas we have to get into backyards or whatever where there's only four to five feet uh, space on the side of the house. Um, and it's real reliable and you know, very powerful equipment. I know when I first started using the Bobcat equipment, uh, a lot of people thought they were toys and now a lot of the other installers have them because they're, you know, they really work well. We do some sewer installations in Chico. They put some uh, new sewer mains in and they're trying to reduce the nitrogen into the soil. So they're collecting the sewage and taking it to the sewer plant. And uh, so we're tying a lot of the houses into the main lines. And on uh, some of those, you can't get around the house with a new sewer line. So we bore from the backyard to the front yard underneath of the house uh, and go directly into the, into the street. So the boring machine is pretty helpful. It's a ditch witch, a JT922, which is, it's only about 48 inches wide, so it can get down the side of the house, most generally, unless it's, it's really, you know, smaller than that. I uh, worked in the septic industry for probably about 10 years or 12 years, and I wanted to look for a job that was less dirty, <laughs> a job that I could take a shower in the morning and stay pretty clean most of the day, and so I, uh, I came across a restaurant, which I'd never been in that restaurant business before, and it had a bad septic system and it needed an, an engineered system for it. So I worked out a deal with the uh, owner of the property and I bought the property and installed the septic system and ran the restaurant. And I had that for about six years and found out that that's not really what I wanted to do. <laughs> it was a little cleaner, but a lot, lot more involved. So I uh, went back into the septic system installation and stayed with that.